Hello guys, welcome back to another video. It has been a while, but I have decided to make this video just to try and get the ball rolling on some more Minecraft videos. So this is our Minecraft server. Me and three other buddies play on this server. At the moment, only two. The other, uh, my other buddy is still, uh, hasn't logged onto this one. So you are standing, this is my base, kind of this island here this is my build this is my first, wow uh decent build i guess you could say in my life i am not a builder in minecraft in any way shape or form so uh yeah anyway you can see we have a big wheat farm because i have this these two leather farms over here yes, yes sir the leather i get about sir, yes sir, sir. Yeah. 13 leather each time I breed all of those cows up and then if we come over here I just have a smoker for smoking my food a blast furnace for when I get done at mining sessions and this big not big but a furnace right here for smelting and different things like that I will be probably building a super smelter in this area hopefully soon I have just a composter set up here because after I get done Harvesting and replanting here. I take all the extra seeds and chuck them in here. We have Three and a little bit more here. So then we come down here. This is like my main base area. This is my storage So we have like sand and glass dirt uh, just like uh, Building blocks in general, I guess you could call that one and then we have wood and a farm chest, so this is like anything from like the farms and stuff. Lime farm that I have. And then this is the rich chest. Wow. Just, if something feels out of place somewhere else, put it in here. That should be over here in the tools and armor chest. Got a lot of stuff in here. And we did defeat the ender dragon. Let's go. So we have shulker boxes and stuff. We just haven't done the wither uh, to get beacons. This is like a nether and end chest. I don't know why there's a hoe in here. And I got two shulker boxes of terracotta to uh, sell to the other server mates. And then we have enchanted boots in this chest, anvil, grindstone, crafting table, cartography table, a furnace in here. That's kind of what I started with. And then both of these are also building blocks in here. Got a lot of ice. Down here we go to the mine. So down here we have lots of strip mines. The first couple, I think, first six, I think, all go to a ravine where we have lava to get uh, obsidian. But yeah, lots of strip mining going on down here. Actually, that was my plan to do today later, is come down here and do some more mining. Just because I'm getting low on iron and I need to automate my slime farm so that it increases the rates. Right now it's just whenever I need slime, I go down there, so... In order to increase the rates, I have to automate it by putting iron golems down there for attraction. So, I gotta get some iron soon. Uh, I might be able to get some off of somebody else. Let's sleep. Alright, so now if we head up back up top, uh, I have this sugarcane farm here. And I just, I have the world download for the Hermitcraft Season 6 and 5. So I just kind of took Mumbo's Industrial District Farms and shrunk it down. So we, you can see we have the minecart uh, things here. And a flying machine goes across and busts all the sugar cane. And then those come out and it senses when the minecarts are, or this first minecart's empty. Right there, that one. And so it resends them <coughs> in until that minecart doesn't pick stuff up. Fairly smart system and it works very fairly reliably and I do get quite a bit of sugarcane. I get like four stats I want to say at the lowest on a harvest and I have been here a while. I got that chest and this double chest full. This is uh, shulker bots. I'm working on filling up to take to our villager area because we do have a villager with mending that uh, I still have to get some more for some of my tools. Most of my stuff has mending on it. All of my armor does. My sword. My pick. And I have a lot of picks. The pumpkin farm that I have, it is scalable from here. I can just wrap it around the back here. Let me take a quick fly up and show you. Very simple design. It's just observer piston with redstone dust behind the piston. So... 
it works very well and it's lossless I would say definitely lossless and I can just do the make another one back to back behind this one and just keep it spanning it if I ever need more this thing tr uh, produces more than I need because we only have one farmer at the moment trading melons and pumpkins and then we have this monstrosity of a mob farm here uh, take a fly up take a look at it I have put a lot of time into building this one two three four five layers probably could do one more before I start losing efficiency again so yeah but this thing fills up very quickly about a minute to two minutes laying around here and it'll be full so this is how I mend most of my tools and so we just slaughter and slaughter and get all the XP this this uh, pick doesn't even have I'm breaking three on it and it takes forever to mend great oh, got a shot don't want to come all the way up to it because if there is a creeper in the back it will blow up and a buddy of mine didn't know that on the server and one blew up on him not the best so this thing not only does it give XP but with a looting three sword like what I have I believe it's yeah looting three it cranks out the drops so I have there's a lot of drops filing in right now from this hopper yet and there you get the occasional witch and it's not really a string farm but you get a few spiders with looting three it adds up pretty quick so yeah this is that's pretty much everything this farm gives and it's not like crazy rates for like the iron and the string like I said or sugar and glowstone and that's the only potion of health I've gotten but it gives a lot of bows a decent amount of rotten flesh which will be handy once I, we get a cleric on the server and I've used quite a bit of gunpowder to make rockets and nothing back there and then arrows and bones which the arrows are kind of worthless I guess to us right now because I think all of us have infinity on our bows but I still have arrows just in case any of us need them so yeah and that I think will oh I'm gonna pop into spectator mode real quick and show you guys what the inside of this mob farm looks like in case you guys want to build of one yourself so it's just the simple four quadrants with trapdoors going across them and then the water going towards the center. So you can see we already have one, two, three, four creepers and a skeleton in there. And there are probably more coming. Uh, it's, there's a spider in there you can see. And I noticed this the other day. I accidentally left a pillar of cobblestone there. It doesn't affect it too much but it will. So mobs eventually walk across and fall in. If I had cats, I would put cats in these corners. It's just a pain in the butt to put them there with the rates I'm already getting. It's just not needed. Oh, I didn't see you there. <laughs> Why is there? Okay, that's a problem. That <laughs> I'm seeing stuff I've missed before. So I do got to come up top and fix that hole. That'll increase rates dramatically so yeah here's a good view of my base here it's just these two islands it used to be a natural island but somehow the um i think my buddies pranked me by getting rid of my island so uh yeah it's no longer there so over here we have kind of like what the hermit craft has is kind of like a shopping area uh buddy of mine built what's called pewdiepie's mushroom was it yeah I don't watch PewDiePie, so I uh, don't really know. What? But these... Hold up! Something ain't right! But uh, these two shops here, they're a rocket shop, and this is the drop shop. It's There's a D on that side. R on this side. O, P, yeah. So it's built out of concrete, and this is just like uh, basic mob drops right now. So we have arrows. This wall got blown up, so I still have to fix it and put the stuff back in. This chest is not a sale item yet, but I have bones, gunpowder, rotten flesh, leather, slime, and ink sacks. 
I get insects out of my fishing farm, which I forgot to show you guys. It's a basic AFK fish farm. There's not anything special. Ooh, that was close. There's nothing special about it, but all of these chests are full of something. So, yeah, we got lots of stuff in all of these. And anything, a lot of different enchants come from a fishing farm. So if you are still playing 1.15, which we are right now, I wanted to get this fish farm filled up for the rest of my life on this server. So if you guys are still playing 1.15, definitely recommend building an afk fish farm there probably will be more for getting these enchants and people figuring out how to make simple ones but for now yeah if you're on 1.15 highly recommend building that afk fish farm it's just the iron trap door with the note block and the pressure plate so around pewdiepie's mushroom we have another buddies of mine base which he doesn't spend a lot of time here and there's not a lot of stuff here most of his stuff is over in his mine which is if you follow that trail it goes that way but then over here we have another friend of mine's base which does a lot more building and expanding and stuff like that so he's got like a care farm which i've completely decimated once but he's got all sorts of stuff around here. I buy cows off of him quite frequently to uh, fill up new farms. But he's got a secret room back here that everybody knows about. And yeah, it's kind of a... <laughs> bedroom. And he's got some diamonds, iron, slime. Which I think I borrowed slime from him before, I think. I'm not sure. But he's got lots of cats. He's got Wheezy, Oreo, Cappuccino. I think those are his real cats in real life, so, yeah. Lots of storage. He's got a mine way down in the bottom, too, but that's not... It's a mine, so, uh, we'll move on. Can you fire a... Oh, my goodness. I never know, knew you could do this. Did he despawn? No, nope, he's right there. And I missed. I'm terrible with a bow. We defeated the Ender Dragon mainly by sword. Uh, yeah, that's how bad we are with bows and arrows. My slime farm is right behind here. Down here. Uh, it's not productive. We'll be lucky if we see a slime while we're down here. Uh, I think the optimal distance is like 30 blocks away to AFK for like a slime farm or something. But yeah. Yeah, nothing down here. Just got these two layers right now, and it is a triple chunk slime farm. So yeah, gotta gotta do some work to that yet to make it efficient, but it's getting me enough slime to operate right now. So now, what we want to do is fly over. I'll show you the my buddy's mine, which is over here. A lot faster to get here than before we had Elytris. Still new to end game Minecraft. So yeah, we got all of his stuff around here. And oh this is there's something here now. Spiral staircase going down. A lot of chests. So yeah, that is my other buddy's mine. It but we'll hop in the nether. This is not the 1.16 nether, like I said, we are still playing on 1.15, so not anything new here. So we're going to take a quick fly over this way, oh my, this is scary flying in the nether. We have keep inventory on, yep, see, it's very scary flying in the nether. Is that a skeleton back there? Oh, just baby pigment. Alright, so this is the portal to our villager area, or one of them. I created another one because I needed a place to breed villagers. We didn't have villager breeding. So here's the guy who trades melons and pumpkins. And then we have down here, we have a librarian who sells Feather Falling 3. I don't know why he's stuck with Feather Falling 3. I didn't build any of these. Ah, still new to the Elytra, guys. And this guy is our mending villager, which we've bought quite a 
a lot of stuff off of him, and he's got a ink sack trade. That's cool. So yeah, I think those are the only three villagers left here. So yeah, and it's not very far away from our base. Our base is just over here. I never like flying places. I always feel like I'm going to get lost. But yeah, that is our Minecraft server that I play on a lot. And so yeah, that is the server. Thank you for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.